Tom Brady lives rent-free in my head. And to be fair, he lives in everyone's heads because he's been around so long that it's impossible to forget he's there. In a previous video I made, I said this. I don't know what happens to Tampa going forward, but the Bucks will probably make it to another Super Bowl and I will feel like a bad person for wanting the man who won me six championships to lose. But after I put that video out, I realized it's not the whole story. I realized I don't want Tom to win because I don't know how to separate my Patriots fandom from him and it's easier if he just goes away. I worry that if I keep rooting for Brady in Tampa, it might mean I was never really a Pats fan at all. Maybe I was just the Tom Brady's team fan, and I desperately want to believe that there is something special going on in New England those 20 years, some beautiful partnership of a brilliant GM and coach and a brilliant quarterback, and maybe there was. I always thought Belichick was some dark lord of football, and listen, a season with half your defense out due to a deadly virus and a quarterback who didn't look like his old self is not exactly a fair sample size of post-Brady life. But... Watching Brady do exactly what he did in New England with a new team was like watching dad give the same Christmas presents to his new family. Maybe it wasn't some insane, beautiful partnership. Maybe we were just watching the best player ever for 20 years. It'll take more than one season to know for sure. And even then you can't erase what Brady, Belichick, Gronk, Edelman, blah, 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 everyone in New England did together. But right now there's a clear winner and he's in Tampa Bay. After this year, I never want to see the word unprecedented again as long as I live. But in the case of Tom Brady, that's what we're working with. We have never seen a 43-year-old look like a hot new rookie. And yes, that includes his three interceptions he threw against Green Bay because Pobody's nerfed. I don't know what the next two weeks are going to look like for Pats fans. I'm going to be going back and forth between missing him, loving him, wishing he would just go away, and then feeling bad about all of it and being kind of mad at Belichick the whole time because it turns out Brady could have done what he did the whole time he was in New England, just needed a little help. It would have been a whole lot easier if Brady had just lost to Aaron Rodgers, but Aaron Rodgers didn't get his act together and the coaching staff in Green Bay had a complete come apart, so here we are. I need to find a positive here, so this is what I'm going with. I have never felt more confident about a matchup for a Super Bowl in my life. Patrick Mahomes is 25-1 and in his last 26 games as a starter. He is the third quarterback since 1950, just the third, to go 25-1 and or better in a 26-game span. He joins Jim McMahon and, he, you guessed it, Tom Brady. Brady is Brady. He's a guy who shows up in his 10th Super Bowl and you're like, oh, well, he's probably going to win. But Mahomes is getting there too. And I don't think this is going to be a rams Pat situation where defense won championships. No, this is a battle of the goat and the baby goat. Everybody said this. This is dynasty. This is epic. This is a Greek myth. Remember this? If you're a Pat fan, just root for the NFL, for good football. We are all Rob Lowe and we literally love good football. Now I'm gonna go stare into space for two weeks like Matt LaFleur. Two weeks later.